Hello and welcome to one more video of the series Salesforce Concepts to Know as a Salesforce Tester. Before actually beginning with today's video or today's topic, let me first tell you about the series. So this is the course series playlist, whatever you may like to call it Salesforce Concepts to Know as a Salesforce Tester. So if you have not started with the first video and if you have not seen the previous videos, please go ahead to the channel. If you like the content, please subscribe it. And even if you don't subscribe it, that's okay. But I just want you to, I just want to help you out in learning Salesforce as a tester. So start from the first video and it will make a lot of sense to you. And then, uh, you know, uh, continue in the Salesforce testing journey. Now, let's go ahead and talk about today's topic, which is formula, rollup, field dependencies, validations, along with examples, right? Now, uh, as the name suggests, a formula field, is a custom field that automatically provides results based on records and related records. Now, this is going to be the first topic of the day, which is formula field. Now, <clears throat> if you uh, see it closely on the screen right now, I, we have a field by the name of total revenue in financial year on the accounts object or rather in the accounts record right now. What is an object? What is a record? What is a field type? What is a dev org? which you are seeing on the screen right now, where I'll be showcasing the actual fields configured. All these details, again, is in this playlist. So go ahead, for, start from the very first video and then keep along the journey. And, you know, you'll, you'll be able to make sense of what I'm saying right now. But yes, it's my job to tell you the uh, uh, pre of what I'm teaching. So, you know, you are able to connect the dots better. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's continue. I'm sorry. Let's continue. And uh, you go to the demo, which is this one, you click on any, any record of accounts object, because we saw this particular field configured on the accounts object, right? Now you go to the details tab. And uh, what was the field? It was total revenue in financial year, right? So I will go ahead and I will search for this field on the UI, which is total revenue in financial year. As the name suggests, formula field is something that will show you the result of some other fields, right? So I will not get into a lot of nitty gritties because you need not know that as a Salesforce tester. But yes, I'll tell you what is a formula field and how we have configured it. So basically, the formula field, which is total revenue in financial year, it is a sum of Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 revenue here, right? I'll zoom a bit for better showcasing so when you enter data into these four fields or rather in any of the field it takes a sum of these four fields and shows it here it is not editable mind you right so let me go ahead and let me change the value to 40 and uh, let me save it right now we'll see see it got updated to 90 dollars 90 dollars is basically 40 plus 1050 plus 20, 70, 70 plus 20, 90. So it is a sum of total revenue in financial year. This is the front end or the UI, right? Now let's go to the actual implementation. And again, as I say in all the videos, I'll be showing you the depth of these configurations only to an extent that you need to know, not more than that, because as a tester, you need to know or get into a depth at a limit. So we'll, we'll cover we will be we'll have more of a bonsai approach that is whatever is required we'll we'll learn right so let's go ahead and let's see the implementation of this field which is total revenue and financial you see and if you see uh, a bit closely you'll be able to see the data type field which is formula right so let me go ahead and open this fields configuration and uh, do you see the actual configuration done here which says q1 revenue underscore c plus q2 plus q3 plus q4 right now what is this underscore revenue underscore c these are basically the api or the technical names of these particular fields which are there on the screen right now q1 revenue becomes q1 revenue underscore c this is the api name as we call it and but in more layman terms i would say it is the more it is the technical name given to the field so on the UI, it is Q1 revenue and for the developers or for the people in the technical domain, it is Q1 revenue underscore C. This is all that you need to know about the formula fields configuration or the technicality. This is all right. So 
uh, all in all, this is how a formula field is configured, how it looks, how the formula is put up into the place. But basically what you need to know is that when the interviewer asks you in the interview, you need to tell them that a formula field is basically a field that calculates the sum difference or, you know, basically uh, uh, the, I would say, uh, it somehow gives you the different results based on different parameters like in this particular example you can give the, you can give this example as well and that will be helpful to you this is all you need to know about formula fields and the answers that you give will suffice in your interview that is for sure right now let's see the second one which is rule up summary field now it basically summarizes and i hope that formula field was clear if not please go ahead and watch it again and uh, let me know if you have any queries now let's talk about another field type which is rule up summary field now, roll-up summary field, the definition is given here. It's, it summarizes data from a set of related detailed records and automatically displays the output on the master record. It can show you the sum, maximum, and minimum value of a field in a related list. Also, the count of all the records listed in a related list. Now, of course, as a, as a person who is listening to these videos or learning sales for the first time, this particular definition can be a bit overwhelming, right? So, I'll show you again. In an example of this but before that let me tell you a bit about the example that I'm going to show again on the accounts object open any record and you'll find a field which says sum of opportunities right now let's go and let's see what roll up summary fields actually in action mean so this is the same record that's open and uh, you go to sum of opportunities field you find it here right what I'll do is I'll highlight it as well for you to easy better understand now as the definition says, it says uh, it fetches the sum, maximum or minimum value of a field in a related list, right? That is the key word here. The sum of opportunities is basically the sum or minimum or maximum of the related records, right? So herein what we have done is, I'll tell you the configuration. So what we have done is that this particular field, which is sum of opportunity, mm -hmm. It fetches the sum of the amount of the related opportunities. Let me decode it to you. So this is an account and a couple of opportunities are related to it. There are two opportunities in the picture right now, right? So let me open these two different opportunities in new tabs for you to easier, easily understand what the implementation is, right? So this is one opportunity ST, this is the other BT, right? Now, do you see the field here by the name of amount? You do, right? So on the opportunity ST, I have an amount of $20. Then on the other opportunity, that is BT, I have an amount which is $50, right? And both of these opportunities are related to which account? ABC. <clears throat> ABC, right? Now, let's go on to the ABC record or the ABC account. And let's see the field, which is sum of opportunities. That is, as I told you, that sum of opportunities is an, is the sum or total of the related opportunities amounts, right? So the amount on this opportunity is $20. The amount on the other opportunity is $50, right? So on the account, on this particular field, and it is a roll-up summary field, as I've already told you. So it, it turns out to be $70, which is... $20 plus $50. Now, what differentiates between summary, uh, roll-up summary field and a formula field is something that I, I am assuming that you, uh, you would have guessed it by now. But if not, don't worry. I'll reiterate again. The formula field will only and only calculate the sum, difference, max, min of the parameters or of the fields that pertain to the same object, that is account. Right. So here it was calculating the sum of four revenue of four quarters revenue, but that those fields were mentioned on the record on the same object. So total revenue in FY is on accounts, right? And these four fields are on the account object as well. Let us confirm. Let me go to account. Let me search for total revenue. And uh, this is one one, right? Now let me go ahead and let me search for Q1. It is there. Let me search for Q2. It is there. Let me search for Q3. It's there. And let me search for Q4. It's there. So when a field 
is calculating the desired results and all the fields are on the same object that is when a formula field is used but on the contrary when a formula uh, when a formula field is used and when a roll up summary field is used are two different things when the roll up summary field is used it basically pertains or takes the results from the related records right so this sum of opportunities field is there on the account it is there on the account right see but if you go and search for the opportunity amount or something of that sort right it's not there it's not there on the account field right see not the amount field which which was there in the opportunity so when you want to take the sum or did uh, you know uh, i mean for example in this situation you wanted to get the result or the sum of the related opportunities amount on a particular account right so for example there is a there is a uh, there is a bank and they want to loan out to a particular account so let's suppose if there is a bank and it wants to give out loans to maruti suzuki employees right so it wants to calculate the sum of the loans that it has given to all the employees of maruti suzuki right so that is what it is this is the case. this is the utility of roll up summary fields and uh, this is the first part of this particular topic that we are covering in the second part i'll be talking about field dependencies and uh, validation rules and you know why i'm doing this because you know it becomes a bit difficult to uh, grasp all this information at once so i'm breaking it into two short videos and adding it to the playlist of course i hope that you were ab able to understand the two topics that is formula fields and roll up summary fields well and uh, please uh, uh, watch the next video for understanding the other two topics and uh, do watch the complete playlist to get yourself very well versed with the salesforce topic as a salesforce tester and uh, thank you for watching do share your feedback and we are continuously improving i hope that it it helps you so see you in the next video thank you